Hi everyone, my name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. And this is our weekly video blog progress report and update number 29, covering everything that we've accomplished for the week of September 9th, 2013. I'm going to make this a quick one, uh, mainly because it's Tuesday. Normally I do these on Monday. And I am behind. But the good news is, the reason why I'm behind is because we've been having some phenomenal uh, conversations that are related to uh, major funding with several different groups. And so we're hoping that that's going to come through so we get the property off the market. But of course, the search continues. So if you'd like to see what it is that we are seeking for funding, go to onecommunityglobal.org forward slash funding. And you can check that out and see uh, what the number one thing is that could help us out right now as far as moving the whole project forward. That said, let's jump right into the uh, progress report. As always, I'm going to give a quick overview of everything that we've accomplished, just a bullet point overview of what we've accomplished uh, for the last week, and then I'll go into a little bit more depth on that. And if you'd like to read the complete details with links to immense amount of uh, information, comprehensive details on everything that we're talking about, images, of uh, like the Sego Center and things like that, there's always a link in the YouTube description to the written blog that goes along with this. Or you can just go to our onecommunityglobal.org website and click on the blog link and you can scroll through our weeks of updates and see all the pictures and the progress as it's, uh, as it's been happening. So um, the overview is, let's see, this last week we completed our apiary and bee tending page, which is up a big component of sustainable food, especially with what's going on with bee colonies today in the world, is uh, operating your own apiary. And so bee raising is a big deal. We've got our page, our open source page up on that, including the details of how much it costs to build. And uh, we'll be adding a lot to that once we get on the property, but that page is up now. Uh, we also have our, we've almost completed uh, the Wallapini number two food guide. If you want to go check out that, we'll add a link in the description. Um, which is all the foods that will be grown in the second Wallapini. Um, uh, some really cool stuff. Broad diversity, 50 different types of apples, almost 50 different types of figs. Check it out. Really, really um, amazing foods that will be produced in there, all in one small structure. Um, we've also got the uh, Sago Center Dormer and Sliding Glass Door research is done, and so this week we'll be completing those in 3D and then adding those in. And in 3D, a uh, huge amount of work has been done in 3D. Uh, Carl Harris has redesigned the kitchen for us and is going through the process of putting all the appliances in there. A pretty huge redesign of that kitchen to open it up. Um, group dining for anywhere from 150 to 200 people at a time. Um, hugely resource uh, efficient, saves a lot of space. As well as um, we've got the whole first floor and put into 3D now in the social dome. We had to redesign social dome and move the bathrooms around there for code. We've done that and so now the walls are in in 3D, the second floor is in in social dome in 3D. And so I'll include some pictures of that in the uh, in the written blog as well. And then the laundry room uh, has also been done. Uh, the out external aspects of the laundry room, putting in the windows in there and the table and showing all that in 3D, what that's gonna look like. And we fixed the cupola roof also. So amazing work by Jin our team uh, member that's working on the 3D in that aspect. Uh, also on infrastructure, the Straw Bale Village uh, is now in CAD. So Straw Bale Village, living 42 residences, uh, housing for 100 people, including food production, is now in CAD. And so I'll include an image for that in the written blog. And we've got the Strategies of Being page, which I talked about. I might do another happy dance. I got it done now behind the scenes. We're going to put that up this week. We will get that out to the world and start accepting feedback on that. We would love feedback on this because it is the um, foundations of great teachers, communicators, and leaders that is going to be the foundations of living and teaching at one community. So not only for the education program, but also it's... Um, I'll go into details in a second. Let me finish the overview. So uh, strategies of being page is done in the background. We're going to get that up this week. And then... Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Maybe that was it. Those are all the big stuff. Septic saying, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, why are we doing all this stuff? You know what? Let's go into the details. I usually like to kind of have a theme. And so the theme of this video is we are the ones we've been waiting for. Right? Gandhi said, be the change that you want to see in the world. And um, 
you're the one that you've been waiting for. I think it was June Jordan who said we are the ones who would be waiting for. She first said that. And uh, we really believe that. And so we want to create a path for people to be able to duplicate complete city infrastructure and not just the foundational pieces of housing and food and energy, but an entire lifestyle, an entire culture of self-sufficiency. And that is our model for making it self-replicating. So all the things that we've accomplished here in this last week, the apiary uh, setup page, the Wallapini 2 food guide, which is to grow a diversity of food that far exceeds what you can buy in the grocery store. You know, most people, if you pay attention, you've only got three or four apples that you can buy in the grocery store. Why is that? Well, because they've been identified as apples that can ship well and that they can sit on the, that they last a long time and that people like the taste, etc. But there's hundreds of different apples out there that are amazing and have very specialized properties. They're only good this time of the year. They're great for storing or they're really good for frying or they're really good for baking or they make great jams, they make great ciders, these kinds of things. And so we want to teach people how to grow that kind of stuff. You know, what is that? Why? We don't have to be limited to just three types of apple. We can eat a food, a diversity of food that is superior to anything that's ever existed uh, in the human diet before. Because not only can we have access to 50 different types of apples, we can also grow 50 different types of figs and, 50, you know, and 10 different types of persimmon and, and loquats and jackfruit and breadfruit and things from all over the world. Bring those together in these wallopini and aquapini structures and produce that. You know, and so when we ask ourselves the question, well, what is the change that we would like to see in the world? Well, our organization thinks that we should be eating in such a way that it is uh, maximally diverse and supportive of our health, doesn't include pesticides or herbicides, can be reproduced anywhere in the world, and allows us to have access to the amazing yumminess of the food that is available from all the different cultures and promotes biodiversity promotes the different species of af apples and helps to preserve that, spreads that throughout the world. And so we have a whole open source botanical garden model to support that. You can see that one, communityglobal.org forward slash botanical garden. This is the kind of stuff that we're designing. And so as we continue to demonstrate that we are the ones that we're waiting for, the doors are wide open for people to participate in what it is that we're doing. And so I said I was gonna make this a short, short blog because we've got so much different stuff um, that we're working on and I'm behind already this week. So, um, yeah, I guess I just want to put it out there that, uh, you know, what's happening, what needs, what most people believe needs to happen, what I think uh, even more people believe should happen and uh, is, we're capable of creating is happening right now. We're the ones we've been waiting for. We're not waiting for somebody else to create it. We're creating it. And so the... Earthbag Village continues to move forward, duplicable Earthbag complete village uh, infrastructure as well as the Straw Bale Village, as I said, is in CAD, so you can start to see that developing in CAD, and now what we're going to do is we're going to make the circle a little bit bigger so it can make some additional entryways and put walkways that will go up and over on the outside so that it meets fire code, um, gives us a little bit more growing space in the inside as well, which will house a complete garden in there. Um, we're doing a lot of work behind the scenes, I didn't mention that. Uh, the, we're, last week I mentioned we're researching prep plastic. The best plastics are going to last the longest. <coughs> excuse me, they're going to last the longest and um, provide what we need for hoop houses, but also for the covering of tropical atrium as well as the wallapenies and aquapenies. It's just a ton of work and research because you can't just go buy what you can buy at Lowe's and expect it to last that kind of plastic because it won't even last a year depending on how you're using it. you know. So we're looking for something that's gonna last 10 years, maybe even 20 or 30 years. There's some amazing stuff that's out there that's been done, you know, that's gonna, that's gonna, uh, that's been created that can really um, improve how these structures function. So we're doing all that research. Meanwhile, we're looking at food forests because if you have the ability to climb it, to be able to grow a food forest with any climate, you can grow some sort of food forest, but we're demonstrating a maximally productive food forest as well. You know, and so all this stuff comes together with the Sago Center Duplicable City Hub, with, um, you know, the open source education program, the Strategies for Being page. It all comes together to create what is necessary to build complete open source and free shared teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities that help more people to build open source teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities because we streamline the process and make it easier. 
for the highest good of all, for the highest good of humanity. And then the strategies of being, I was saying I was going to talk about that more, is what is, we, we sat down as a group and we said, well, you know, it's consciousness, this idea of doing what is for the highest good of all of humanity is a real step away from, it, it would be the, the opposite of the everyone for themselves mentality. And so in addition to that, there's this idea of how do you exist within community and maintain a consciousness of helping each other and, uh, and working together for the betterment of the group as a whole in such a way that's harmonious and works for everybody. And so we start asking ourselves, well, what does that look like in, um, in individual relationships as well? And so drawing on the consensus trainings that we host and that all of our members go through, as well as the teachings of Eckhart Tolle and Neil Don Walsh and a whole bunch of other people out there, and then looking at all the different education programs that we studied, because we studied them all, Montessori, Waldorf, Orff, Regio, Bloom's Taxonomy, um, uh, even Study Tech, as well as uh, the Eight Intelligences. I'm trying to think if I missed any. We studied all of these different educational paradigms and, and programs and said, what is the best of the best? And then we looked at all these programs about increasing consciousness and um, having the maximum positive impact, being the ones we're waiting for, being the change we want to see in the world. You know, what's out there, as well as the motivational programs of people like Tony Robbins for getting things done. And we've created a whole Strategies of Being page that shares all that information in one place in a super simple bullet point fashion. And so now that's done behind the scenes, and we're going to put that out this week to the public because we would love feedback on it. Because our goal is to produce something that can be usable by everybody, that has value to anybody that wants to plug into that, and it should be simple. Our intent was to create something that would be understandable by somebody, you know, by a five to 10 year old, and applicable to an adult as well, and applicable to the entire community environment, global environment, and of course within the education program as well and then to put that out as an open source content to take the best of the best and put it all in one place and so that strategies of being page uh, is the result of I mean if we were to look at all the different elements that went into the strategies of being page it's probably the result uh, I would say it's the result of a couple hundred hours at least of research to create just one page of one line bullet points and then another page describing each one of those bullet points and now we're going to put it out to the public and have everybody give their input on that and then we'll refine it again and come up with something that we feel really good as a foundation for uh, the whole functioning of one community as a whole and something that we hope that people will be able to use and evolve on their own and their own iterations of what it is that we're creating. So that's our report for the week of September 9th. 2013. As always, uh, we're always looking for people who'd like to volunteer and be a part of our organization. We're a 100% uh, volunteer, unpaid organization. Everybody that's working on this project is uh, volunteering their time. The the pod two, the Straw Bale Village. Uh, Dave Wallen is doing the work on that. You know, great guy. He's doing all the architectural work on that. Completely volunteer. Carl Harris doing all the work for us on Sego Center and redesigning all of that, completely volunteer. All of our team, all of our pioneers, myself, unpaid volunteers. And, you know, we're creating something that we hope will be usable by everybody, a foundation to build off of so that people can take action, create self-sufficiency and self-sustainability that, and not just self-sufficiency and self-sustainability, but regenerative sustainability to help regenerate this planet to help make it even more healthy and more whole and to uh, give more than it takes to the individual and to our own lives. And so there's the benefit. People say, well, wait a minute, you're unpaid. Why are you even doing this? Like, are you kidding? I mean, I'm part of world change. We're creating historic world change. We're going for the complete revolution of how people live on this planet, providing a way for everybody to do things differently if they want to and building the infrastructure so people can evolve this in an infinite number of different directions, an, an infinite diversity of different ways of doing this, but creating the basic building blocks for doing that. It's like inventing the wheel and then saying, well, what are you going to put that wheel underneath? You know, the wheel opens up a whole new world of possibility. What you build on top of that wheel is a whole new world of possibility above and beyond that. We want to create that. And so 
our idea of that is food infrastructure, housing infrastructure, energy infrastructure, social architecture, education, highest good uh, business infrastructure as well, true stewardship infrastructure, teaching people, giving all the all those those blueprints and tools and tutorials and a step by step resource list as step by step uh, roadmap and do it yourself plans instruction manual I guess as you could say open source and free shared instruction manual for duplication and then people will be able to duplicate and build beyond that and so we're always looking for partners that would like to be part of that we're always looking for partners that would like to be uh, the next teacher demonstration hub as one community builds we'd love to find additional people that want to build with us we have a satellite pioneer option as well or satellite member rather option for people who'd like to join our team and be a part of our team and everything that we're doing our weekly calls and all that stuff but then operate uh, remotely and, and with the plans to build another community somewhere else we have international options lots of different options for participating even options just for participating on the web so check us out on Facebook uh, facebook.com forward slash one community fans or one community updates check us out on Twitter one community org check us out on YouTube uh, just search for one community we're all over YouTube and um, get involved you know we're the ones we're waiting for right it's happening right now so we invite you to participate and we thank you for the participation that's already happening huge thanks to all of our partners and everybody that's working to get all the things that are, that are being done with one community every single week as we do these amazing uh, updates and we continue to move forward all the people that uh, that are helping out and making this happen huge gratitude till next week thanks everyone